Welcome to NTU Open House 2023. Uh, I'm Associate Professor Cheong Siu An, and I will guide you through some of the physics degree programs that we offer. First, uh, let me explain that all NTU students will have to complete the interdisciplinary collaborative core over their first and second years. But while that is happening, uh, whether you are going to eventually become a physics student or an applied physics student, you will also have to take some foundational uh, physics courses that are common to both uh, degree programs over the first two years. In year three and year four, you will make the decision to specialize in pure physics or applied physics. If you are the kind that is interested in understanding uh, the phenomenon that happens around you, uh, then uh, you should be going for the physics degree. Or if you are interested in understanding the foundations of modern technology, for example, the one that is uh, sitting in your, eye, your handphone uh, or your computer, uh, then you might be better uh, served by uh, doing the applied physics degree. So, besides these two flagship degree programs, we also offer some double major programs as well as second major program. So, the double major program is in physics and mathematical sciences. Uh, this is a highly popular program for students who are interested in later on going on to do theoretical physics or computational physics. Uh, this, will, this degree program will give them a strong foundation of mathematics for, them, for that to happen. As for applied physics, uh, we have a few second majors that are unique to applied physics. The first one is a second major in microelectronics engineering. We also have one that is in collaboration with the medical school, the Lee Kong Chen School of Medicine uh, on medical physics. And finally, one in collaboration with the uh, Technopreneurship Center here in NTU uh, that offers a second major on entrepreneurship. We also have some second major programs that are offered to both physics degree students as well as applied physics degree students. The first one is uh, on quantum technologies. Now, as you may have already read from the news, uh, the Singapore government is investing a lot of money into producing quantum computers and all the other kind of technologies that support quantum computers. So if, you, uh, if you're interested uh, to be in the forefront for developing quantum technologies industry for Singapore, then this would be a second major that you might be going for. We also have uh, a second major that focuses on data analytics because we realize that a lot of our uh, graduates are going into the field of data science. And then finally, because NTU has a strong commitment uh, towards a sustainable future for Singapore, we also offer a second degree a second major program uh, in collaboration with the Asian School of Environment. Now, you may also be interested to know uh, what kind of courses you will learn in physics. So here in this uh, slide, you see all the courses that are listed. Uh, I will not go through them individually, uh, but as you complete these courses, what is it that you expect to gain? So one of the things that you will gain uh, by completing these courses would be content knowledge. And, but that's not the only thing that you will, you will gain. So you will also gain skills that are specific to physics. For example, there are five to six lab courses that you will take, uh, and you will gain lab skills uh, through these courses. There are also a number of computational courses that you will take, and of course, you will gain programming and computational thinking skills uh, through these courses. Finally, because physics is a science degree program, you will also learn uh, to see the world through a scientific approach. And this is very important because uh, even Elon Musk himself has said that he prefers to hire physics graduates uh, as opposed to some of the other engineering graduates because uh, science students like to ask why. So after completing your physics or applied physics degree program, you find yourself equipped with a unique combination of skills. The first one is mathematics, because in physics you use a lot of these perhaps only less than a mathematics student. You also learn to deal with a lot of different kinds of data because those you will collect them in the lab courses, you will analyze them, and then you will make conclusions based on these kind of data. And finally, of course, 
because computation is grow, uh, increasingly important tool uh, for the sciences. You will also learn how to do programming and also uh, how to think computationally. And in fact, some of our graduates have gone on to uh, programming careers uh, later on uh, after they graduate. So I have mentioned that um, some of our graduates have went on to programming or software uh, design uh, careers. But what, are, what is the, the true variety of careers that our graduates can go into? So this is a pie chart showing the collection of uh, careers that our graduates have gone into. Now you may actually see different versions of this pie chart because they are based on different data. Uh, this particular pie chart is based on uh, a, my own personal data that I have obtained tracking our, where our graduates have gone on to. And you can see that uh, many have gone on for a PhD. And that is the light green color slice that you see on the uh, right of the pie chart. Many have also gone on for research careers. And this is the light blue colored uh, slice, in, uh, which is in the top right of the pie chart. And then finally, some of them have gone on to do a PhD. They're not yet sick of research, so they have gone on to do research after their PhD. And this is the pale blue colored slice, uh, which you find between the research and the PhD slices. So many of our graduates have also gone on to engineering uh, jobs. So this is the purple slice, which is at the bottom of the pie chart. And a few of these, a uh, few of our graduates, they actually went on to do engineering uh, after they have already completed a PhD in engineering or in physics. So this is the light purple color slice that you see uh, right next to the big purple slice for engineering. There's also a very common misconception that if you do physics, uh, then you're only going to be teaching physics in secondary schools. Well, that's not the case. Of course, some of our graduates do indeed go for a teaching career, but you can see from this uh, deep blue colored slice that it is not a significant number of people. So maybe about 15%, 15 to 20% of our graduates uh, choose to do go for teaching, and that number is becoming smaller over the years. But we do notice that there is a trend of our graduates going to the data science industry. Uh, this is the bright green colored slice. So at the time that I collected this data, this, this slice is still very small. Uh, but if I combine data from uh, previous few years that are after this data has been collected, then you can see that this slice is becoming bigger and bigger over time. So therefore, the conclusion is that uh, if you choose to do a physics degree or an applied physics degree, you will not be limited in your career options. There are many careers that will be remain open to you. And obviously, um, you can, you know, if you do a physics degree, you will get reasonable jobs. Do you also get reasonable pays or you get paid peanuts? Uh, the answer is no. You can see from uh, this uh, recent list of starting salaries that we are required to do after uh, every batch of uh, graduates of uh, graduated, uh, we find out, you know, uh, what is the average salary they're getting, uh, what is the median, and what is the 25th as well as the 75th percentile. And you can see that these are decent salaries. So now that COVID-19 is behind us, finally our students uh, in their year three and year four can go for study exchange. So uh, uh, this is a sweetener, of course, for uh, students choosing to apply to physics and applied physics in NTU because NTU has a large number of uh, partners, uh, partner universities to facilitate such exchanges. For example, if you wish to, you could go for a study exchange in Peking University. Uh, these Asian universities tend to have a semester system that is different from ours, uh, so you may or may not be able to go for the first semester or the second semester, but definitely the summer semester, it will work. There's also the University of Melbourne in Australia, uh, but somehow, you know, Australia is not a popular destination for our students. The most popular destination for study exchange for our physics and applied physics students tend to be in Europe. Uh, so one of them would be uh, Cambridge University in the United Kingdoms. Uh, then the other one that is very popular among our students also uh, would be study exchange opportunities in North America. These are fewer to come by, uh, but you can, if you're lucky, you might be able to get into Harvard uh, for an exchange semester, or if not, then uh, on the West Coast, you may be able to get into the UC Berkeley for an exchange semester. Okay, with all these things said, 
Uh, so we welcome you to uh, apply to our physics and applied physics degree program, as well as our double major program and second major programs. So we hope to see you in NTU uh, in the near future. Thank you.